Hello, come on in. Welcome to the final reveal of the overhaul project that started, I think over two years ago. I cannot believe it took that long, but life got in the way. Obviously, Lee and I got engaged, had a baby, and uh, just life happened. So anyways, here we are. I'm gonna take you through the entire project and let you know where everything is from, some things that I wouldn't do again, some things that I absolutely would do again with hopes that it will help you guys in any future renovations that you might be doing. Okay, so obviously the first space is our living area. Um, there are so many things in here that I absolutely love and I feel like I'm gonna say, oh, this is my favorite room in every room that we're in because I am truly so happy with how everything turned out. Um, but I wanna start by talking about the beautiful area rug in here. It is from Floor Coverings International. In fact, um, I think all of them except for one of the rugs in our house are from Floor Coverings. Shannon is amazing there. I highly, highly recommend going um, and getting her to help you with any of your selections if you're looking for area rugs. Um, she also did the runner in the foyer here, which is an indoor outdoor rug. It's been through two spring and summer seasons and winter. Um, in Saskatchewan, which you will know is messy and it still looks amazing. It's in great shape. I have just vacuumed it. I have not cleaned it once. So very durable and very, very good for a high traffic area. So we are a shoes on household. I know some people are not into that, but we just always wear our shoes in the house. Um, not all the time, but when, if I ever forget something, I'm not taking my shoes off. So again, that rug is great. Moving on, I wanna to talk to you about the couch. Um, I always get a lot of questions about this couch. I do really love it. Um, it's from Sunday Furniture. A few things that I really like about it is you can um, rearrange the uh, arrangement of it, I guess you would say. So they do all come apart and you could do it different ways. And also you can wash. All of these come off and you can put them in the wash. So having a white couch with kids, obviously there's some concern there, but being able to take them off and wash it is a great feature. This is also from Sunday Furniture. I'm gonna be brave and open this up just to show you. It's not the cleanest, obviously real life, but um, I do love how much storage there is in there. This is quite a small house with not a lot of storage, so I wanted to have a piece in here that we could kind of just shove lots of Dane's toys in there, candle vessels, things like that. Next, I wanna talk about the pillows. They're from Curated Pillow Co. My very good friend Channing made them. They are amazing, amazing quality. I love the gold zipper. You can uh, take them off. They are pillow covers. And uh, yeah, she is just the sweetest and I absolutely am obsessed. It took me forever to find pillows that I really loved for here and she nailed it. Next up, we have the blinds from Erica Honaway Interiors. They are Hunter Douglas. Uh, if you are in the market for blinds, you must, you must, you must go see Erica. She is amazing and she is so passionate about blinds. It's amazing. She knows everything, everything about them. And she is just like, has the best selection. I honestly cannot speak highly enough of her and her products. So these are electrical, which is really cool. They go up and down with a remote control. These um, can shade, I guess is the word. Uh, if you want a little bit more privacy, I do like to keep them like this for the majority of the time because I love the natural sunlight. The big window is um, kind of what drew, drew me to this house in the first place. Um, yeah, she also did the blind on our door so that the puppies don't bark at every single person that walks by when Dane is sleeping. This coffee table likely looks familiar if you've been following Teach Me Style for a while. I actually got it when I lived way in like three houses ago um, and it's traveled along with me. It's just from Winners. I'm answering that because I get a lot of questions about it. <laughs> okay, the hanging chair is from Serena and Lily. Of course, I have another curated pillow co uh, pillow on there. And the majority of everything in here is from Winners, table, chairs, um, that wall hanging. This wall grow system is from the Little Big Plant Company and I'm actually so proud to say that every single plant in my house is live, real, um, and like 95% of them have all come from the Little Big Plant Company. They're my absolute favorite. Uh, throughout the house, we have all Richardson's lighting light fixtures. Well, I guess not all of them, but primarily. So this beautiful piece um, was kind of where I started with the lighting. I wanted to have this and then Carly helped me pick this one and then just made sure that all the rest of the light fixtures flow together. So I really appreciate that. I absolutely love it. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces in the house. Okay, so next we have the 
kitchen and uh, I haven't mentioned it yet but Carly from Citizen Design Co was a huge huge factor in how this whole place turned out and especially in the kitchen I really feel like it's super important to use a designer when you are planning out the layout of a kitchen um, especially because you want it to be functional but you also obviously want it to be aesthetically pleasing um, she was really great at making a small space super functional and I'm so so happy with the design that she came up with okay so this is actually an Ikea kitchen but there are some customized pieces um, for example we do have a spice pull out that Schneider Millwork custom made for us as well as this range hood and the beautiful shelves I am obsessed with the shelves. So when I'm doing Instagram stories, there always seems to be the same questions that kind of come up. And one of the most common questions I get is where is your towel backsplash from? It's actually from Floor Coverings International, the same place where I got all the carpets in here. It is one of my favorite pieces and we are actually building a new home. And I feel like I might actually redo this tile. I love it that much. I love that it's square um, and the different color. It has a little bit of texture in it. There's, I just, I love it. So this sink is from Ikea, however we did kind of make it look a little bit more elevated with a really nice uh, fixture. This is from a Canadian company called Aquabras. Um, I absolutely love it. It has the full pull down feature, which is really nice. Um, and I love that it's gold. So again, all of our cabinetry in here is from Ikea. I'm very happy with it. Um, it's really great for this house. This is eventually going to be a rental home for us. So we didn't want to dump a ton of money into custom cabinetry. Um, when we do build our future home, I do believe that we will be reaching out to Schneiders to see if we can um, get them to build us some cabinets for our new home. But like I said, for a rental or an investment property, Ikea is amazing. And then we did elevate the look again with some gold. Um, hardware from a company named Bradford. Of course this line is also a Hunter Douglas from Erica Honaway and it can go um, down from the top and then up from the bottom as well which is really nice. And of course what ties the entire kitchen together my countertops they are from CNG they have the best selection in the city hands down they have a huge warehouse you can go and see massive slabs which really does make a difference so I really recommend you do that if you are trying to choose some um, countertops whether it be quartz or marble or granite definitely go to their showroom they have a huge yard full of massive slabs and again like I said it makes a huge difference I was able to see this in its true beauty and form on a huge slab rather than just on the little tiny sample um, I absolutely love this I can't remember what it's called so I will put it in the description below um, but a huge thank you to, to CNG because they are just Okay, so we decided to do an accent island, and although I love how it looks, this is the part where I tell you something that I probably wouldn't do again. I probably wouldn't do dark on the base cabinets. They do show grease really, really uh, bad. Um, but I definitely love how it looks, and I'm really happy with the quality. It is from Kitsch, so these are IKEA boxes, and then Kitsch cabinetry fronts, which is really great. A great um, way to elevate, again, your IKEA cabinets. Okay, heading down the hallway, I guess I should tell you about the paint. Um, Center Pro Painters painted our entire house, which was such a dream. They were amazing to work with. Uh, this color is called Chantilly Lace. I do get a lot of questions about that. So again, it's called Chantilly Lace. Here we have a little pantry. Again, I say little, it's very small, but does the trick. Follow me to the bathroom. So this space was actually half done already. When I say half, I mean the tile in here was done, the tub, this whole area was essentially done and I really liked it and I wanted to kind of work around this brown tile so Carly really helped me kind of bring a feminine feel to this more masculine um, kind of brown tile which at first I was, wasn't sure how it was going to work out but of course she's a mastermind and made it look so cute. Um, the color in here is Benjamin Moore Cashmere Wrap. It's a really pretty pink color. Um, I think it's great and Lee actually really likes it too, at least he tells me he does. Um, the light fixture again is from Richardson. Um, one thing you might notice is that this bathroom sink is a little higher. It's actually a kitchen cabinet. So these are kitchen cabinets um, that we actually use in the bathroom and I actually like that it's a little higher. So anyways, of course, we have this beautiful quartz countertop from Richardson and then Carly designed this um, section right here which is full of all of my hair and makeup and all that beauty stuff. Of course, these are from Bradford, and the faucet is from Aquabras. 
just going through some of the accessories in here, the towel bar, the toilet paper holder, um, and the robe hook. They're all from a company in Vancouver called All Eight Nickel. And then of course, I always have a little bit of Heart and Soul Candle Co. in every room. This is her new diffuser and it is called Inspire. This little shelf is like one of my favorites in the house and I actually randomly just found it at Superstore one day. It's so cute and I feel like it just fills out the space perfectly but also a little bit of storage because again, this house is pretty small. So in here we have Lee and I's bedroom. Um, of course, we have another beautiful rug from Floor Coverings International. Um, I actually just love how it ties the space together. It is quite large and it almost covers the whole area making it really, really cozy for us. Next we have the bed, of course, Curated Pillow Co. Um, helping us out here. Uh, the bed is from Ikea and we I love it so much because it is a small room. There's not very much room in here. Um, so we don't have to have any nightstands. We can just have um, our shelves and then the bed actually does have storage underneath so that's really great uh, just a couple weeks ago actually we decided to judge this space up just a bit and I wanted to do a nice dark rich kind of make it a little bit more romantic a little cozy um, so we painted it when I say we I actually mean Lee he's actually great at painting um, we painted it a Benjamin Moore Essex green so it actually looks quite dark a lot of you on Instagram asked me if it's black it's not black it's a really dark dark green uh, and I'm really happy with how it turned out uh, another thing that I get a lot of questions about is this wall hanging. It is from one of my very favorite local boutiques called Clementine. Um, they're out of Kindersley and they have the most amazing stuff. So this is from there. Again, we have some beautiful Eric Honaway blinds in here. There's actually blackout blind as well. So um, you just, with the touch of a button, the blackouts come down and mama can sleep in, which is so lovely. Moving this way, um, this space probably looks quite familiar to you. This is where I do a lot of my try-ons. Uh, we have two mirrors in the bedroom. Um, I actually have a full-length mirror in a lot of rooms just because of the nature of my work. I'm always standing in front of this and talking to try and close on. So that's why we have this mirror in here. It doesn't look the greatest, I don't think, but it's kind of par for the, par for the course when you are an Instagrammer. <laughs> All right, so this is Lee's closet, and it is done by Storex, as all of the closets are in our home. Uh, he actually does a really good job at keeping it clean. I was a little nervous because we decided not to put doors on simply because we have drawers. Um, so of course, if you had a sliding door or a bifolding door, you wouldn't be able to open it. Um, it's got lots of great shelving. Storex, Southern Saskatchewan, is just amazing at making small spaces so functional. Um, so I highly recommend if you live in a small house or in a big house, and you just want to have very organized closets um, or a kitchen or a home office they are amazing amazing to work with all right next up uh, we have my closet where the magic happens obviously I spend a lot of time in here um, curating outfits for you guys doing try-ons and all that kind of stuff I actually did an entire blog post on this closet featuring Storex Southern Saskatchewan Diana is amazing um, like I said if you need any sort of help with organization or closets or home office or anything like that definitely check her out um, some of my favorite features are of course I love this open shelving so I can display some of my favorite items um, I love the brass hardware and I did choose a different finish than Lee's um, just kind of went with the wallpaper a little better and speaking of the wallpaper it is from the design collective um, Jalisa also did the wallpaper in Dane's room which I absolutely love and then I just love how this is so complimentary to the beautiful finishes that I chose for the closet of course I could not take you through this room and not talk about this rug. It is again from Floor Coverings International. Shannon helped me pick it out and I absolutely love it. It is such a pop of color and it just kind of pulls from all the different colors and fabrics that you're seeing in here and I just think it really ties everything together so beautifully. All right, here we have some long hang, which is obviously full of smash and test rompers, and then tons of storage for my shoe collection, um, which is ever, ever growing. Um, and then we also have shoe storage at the top, which I really like. Here is a huge bank of drawers, and they're very, very deep. As you can see, um, the depth of them, it just uh, gets deeper as you go down, which I really love. So in here, we also have a really cool feature. Again, I do encourage you to check out my blog post. Maybe I'll link it below um, where it does go through everything. Next, we have the long hang section. Um, Tidy by Emily. I'm sorry, I'm gonna need you to come and do a little refresh here. It's not set up how we have done it um, in the past, 
but this is where all my dresses are and some long cardigans which will be transitioning out. I usually like to switch over my closet from spring, summer to winter um, and I haven't quite finished doing that yet. Uh, and then of course my favorite shelves just to display all my favorite little treats and then like my underwear drawer and all bathing suits and stuff like that in there. So it's nice to have a lot of storage in um, such a small house. And here we decided to do um, a lot of short hang, obviously for pants and tops. And then I did want some just open shelving. I'm a big sweater girl as well. So it's really nice to always have my sweaters on display. I feel like having the closet open and being able to see my clothes, um, I just wear everything a little bit more because I see it all. All right, next directly across from Lee and I's room is our sweet little baby Dane's room. Um, obviously, we did not know if Dane was a boy or girl when he was born. He was a surprise to us. Um, so I took to Pinterest and started searching gender neutral uh, inspo for baby nurseries. And this is one of the, this is kind of what I came up with all by myself. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it turned out really great. This is definitely one of my favorite. Actually, it's, who are we kidding? It's my favorite space in the whole house. I used to sit in here in this rocking chair when I was pregnant and just dream about who Dane would be. And now he's here and it's, crazy. Um, yeah, so I guess I can walk you through and kind of talk you through some of the things in here and uh, some of my favorite pieces. Um, I'm going to just list the paint colors in here. I do get quite a few questions about the different paint colors, so I'll put it in the description below. Um, or there is an entire blog post where I do talk about the majority of the things in here. You can check it out. I'll also link it in the description bar below. This is from Ikea. I do love it, but this room is very, very, very tiny and I do at times wish that I would have just went with the half dresser. There's one about half the size. I think it would have fit a bit better in this room. Um, I do feel like it is a bit tight here sometimes, but with that being said, it is full of his stuff. He has a lot of stuff, so one hand I'm really happy with it. The other hand, I wish it would be a little bit more spacious in here. This is mirror is from um, Winners. It has these little handprints. I'm gonna get those off there. This is from Plum and Sparrow. And then, of course, we have Ikea again his beads of courage which i'm so so proud of and these are really special to me my uh my agency got these for me when dane was born so a few things that i just have to share a couple little personal stories my mom actually found this little heart-shaped rock the day that dane was born on my farm it's like literally in the shape of a heart and she like gave it to us and i think it's a good luck charm for how well he did on his uh, NICU journey. Um, my very good friend Erin Sousa got me this, which is so special, I just love it. So there's a little close-up of it. Um, this is a picture that we had taken during our maternity shoot, and then she uh, got it made with Dane in there, which I think is so cool. All right, of course, the last set of blinds I want to talk to you about from Eric Conaway is these beautiful rattan style blinds. They're actually my favorite in the whole house. I really, really love them. I'm so happy she helped me pick these ones out. Well, she helped me pick all of them out, but she kind of suggested these. Um, they are not electrical, which is totally fine. I love that. In fact, I prefer it in here because they're really quiet if I needed to be quiet. Um, and they are blackout, so you just pull and then it blacks out the room, which if you have a baby, you know that is very important. All right, this chair um, has quite the story, well, not actually, but I found it off of Facebook Marketplace for I think $200. If you are gonna be a new mom or you have a baby, you'll know the price of rocking chairs or gliders is insane, and I just didn't feel like spending a lot of money on it. Looking back, I wish I maybe would have because this isn't the most comfortable chair, but it works in this space because it's so tiny. I just didn't feel like a glider would work. Anyways, I got it recovered and I love, love, love how it turned out. Jalisa from the Design Collective recovered it and she actually recovered it in indoor-outdoor um, fabric, which is really nice. You can just wipe it down. Um, as you know, babies spit up a lot and there's a lot of accidents and like breastfeeding and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with the fabric that we chose and I think it just goes beautifully in the space. These bookshelves are from Ikea. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, we just did the two facing upwards and then we flipped it over for a little bit of a different look. This is from Michael's. I just took off, it was actually three tiers high. I took off one. I like to keep my burp pads um, and then Dane's vitamins and stuff here. And then of course books for easy access for bedtime. And then we have swaddles on the bottom. Obviously this has changed now. Dane is almost a year at the beginning. There was a lot more stuff on there, but now we're graduating to a little more cleaner bar cart section of bar cart, but you get it. Okay, and Dane's closet. And a lot of people that come over to our house and say, wow, your eight month or nine month old baby has a nicer closet than I do. And 
I have to agree, he's a pretty lucky little guy. Again, this is from Storex, Southern Saskatchewan. Diana helped me, again, transform a pretty small space um, and make it very functional and very, very well organized. I chose the same finishings as the one in my room. I just feel like it's a little bit more warm toned. This whole um, bedroom is very warm toned. Um, we have the brass feature, the brass poles for the drawers. And then these baskets I just put in here, they are from Superstore. All right, so this crib my parents bought for us as a gift, which is so lovely of them. It's by Baby Leto, and it can be uh, transformed into a toddler bed whenever we're ready for that, I can imagine. Um, this sign is from a very good friend of mine named Aaron. So thank you, Aaron, for that. And then these prints are actually not prints, they're originals, and they're from a very good friend of ours, Alora. She made them for us, and now she's actually selling them. So if you like them, they are for sale, I believe. Uh, I went with a little bit of a farm theme because I am from the farm. And one more thing I want to talk about, you guys know I'm obsessed with my sheets. Well, Dane has the exact same brand in his crib. They're the most wonderful, luxurious sheets. He's such a lucky little dude. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the rug. Of course, it's from Floor Coverings International. This is, I believe, a wool rug. Correct me if I'm wrong, Shannon. Um, which means very, very du durable. Um, we've already had a few accidents on it and it cleans up really well. And again, it's just finishes off the space perfectly. And that's a wrap on the overhaul renovation two years later. Thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM, shoot me an email, or pop them in the comment section below. I would love to answer them. Okay, get out of here. Bye!